Are you ready to go to a car show today? Yeah, high five now. <laughs> so that rail dust here that you guys see, the little orange black speck. That's not dirt. That little orange spot, that's actually rust. All right, guys, your boy, Just Polo here. Um, remember to like, subscribe, and hit that notification. This is our first video ever. We're going to talk about Iron X. Um, this is not a sponsored video. I want to say that off the rip. This is my first time having a white car in some time. Before this, I had a black car, so it wasn't as much as, as an issue. But obviously, when I got this car, I was told to get Iron X. Of course, I didn't listen. Your boy did some research, and he started noticing these weird orange spots on the car. And I didn't like that. Uh, and I, wanted, I was wondering what was going on with my paint. I'm just gonna do the back surface to show you guys how it works. This whole thing should light up with purple and red. For best results, I suggest cleaning the affected area and drawing before applying Iron X to your vehicle. Okay, so I just dried her, or cleaned her and dried her. So I want you to see the rough spots. You see orange speck there, orange specks. If you look at my car, it's not a long car. When the wind pushes the rust out from other brakes and your brakes, it tends to follow the path of the car's you know, curvature, right? So you'll see a lot of it near the wheels. You'll see a lot of it in the front wheel and the side skirts. In these types of cars, there's like an air pocket, okay? So the air pocket, like I said, is back here in this little general area, and that's where it collects. Now it's time to spray the Iron X. I cleaned the back first, I dried it, now I'm going to spray this on and let it sit. So I'm going to spray it on this general section here, see what happens, right? No need to worry about your pre-recorded music tapes being accidentally erased. It can't happen. As you can see, it's turning purple, and that means that it's working. So we're going to let it sit for another, what, like another four minutes, and then we're going to hose this off and maybe hit it another time. We're about to really, really help the paint with this stuff, man. Can already tell it's going to be good. It smells really good, too. So if this stuff doesn't work, you're going to want to use a clay bar. So we're going to throw like another one or two layers on here, see what happens, and uh, see if we can get this to look really good, somewhat better than that, but that looks already a lot better. For the second coat, I decided to use more of the Iron X throughout the entire trunk area. As you can see, it really lit up purple. I suggest not letting it sit longer than five minutes and away from direct sunlight. So as you can tell, look at these marks. They were right here before. They're mostly gone. It's a very small amount. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see it. Very small amount, but that was a lot more significant before the second coat. So this stuff really does work. I'm very impressed with it. Let's see. A lot of this stuff came up top. Uh, so one little bit there. Probably get that with the third coat because I didn't hit this with the second. But look at this, man. Look at this. Huge difference, huge difference, especially right here. Look at the top. The top looks great. Trunk. Yeah, this is very good stuff. Same thing for the wheels. Make sure to clean, dry, and then spray the Iron X. Wait five minutes, then wash away. Wheels are probably a million times better. I don't know if you can tell. There's hardly any rust deposits. That's Iron X at work. Did the rust just come off? It's a shame that I, it took me this long to get. Again, this is not a sponsored video by any means by CarPro or RNX. I literally just looked it up. I was told to get it. I tried it, and I'm in love with it now. So definitely give this a try, RNX. Hopefully, I can get an affiliate link out there for you guys to uh, buy this. But this is really, really good stuff. I cannot say that enough. Thanks again for watching, guys. It's your boy, Joe's Polo, signing off. Until next time.